Pick on someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, folk. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Rhino, what's with the team up? I thought you were a loner. Means and ends, folk. All of life is means and ends. So what's the end for these particular means? Freedom. True freedom. No more shoot. No more rhino. Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Sparks, love you, but you do know it's to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't show up? Beg him to give up? Yes, Gargan, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two. his corpse for a blanket, dick! Gargan, please! You embarrass yourself! Octavius will do if he finds out you failed! I failed? Yes, you, freak show! A little force together time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sable's men. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. 
I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. is. With that nap time. Yuri, this whole street's been taken over by Riker's inmates. We've had calls from people who are afraid to leave their buildings. Tell them to stay inside a little longer. There's gonna be some street cleaning. Sable guys kind of scare me. They're better equipped than the cops. I heard. They want to take one over. They'll be a lot easier to deal with on the street without hostages. I'm working on it. Talk to you soon. Oh, 
Oh, back up here. Great. Okay, you guys sing do wah and I'll sing lead. for reinforcements here. Just people, you dig? Captain, the block's quiet. Everyone in an orange jumpsuit is down for the count. Great job. If they'd gotten into a residential building, they'd have done a lot of damage. Okay, MJ, I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay, Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. Excuse me, the lobby seems pretty busy. Is everything okay? Residents have been asked to uh, temporarily vacate their units while Sable International performs a security sweep. I don't understand why we had to clear the entire floor. It's because Sable took over building security. Routine sweep, they're calling it. Checking for weapons or explosives or something. All this just to make Osborne feel safer. Mayor Osborne really lives here? I never see him. Yeah, that elevator goes straight to his penthouse. Make sure he's up there right now. There's the security room, but that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. 
The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. We stay down here. We risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. A health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out of here. We got a situation. Oh, man. I can't breathe. Let me back up. Security upstairs. room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating. Swear your way out of here. We're in Hello? Here. Okay, okay. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. Continuing sweep. <sighs> Multi-million dollar building with... <laughs> I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Control, I heard something. Running a sweep. Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson, super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. Only way to unlock the elevator is by setting off a fire alarm. Here goes nothing. That did it. Norman's clearing out. And the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire him. Alpha team, stay alert. Stupid useless button. Hmm. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. The fabulous Osborne boys. What is this thing? Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Hmm, schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses.
blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. <sighs> Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms. And a motto. Pax in Bello. Peace in War. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever- Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. This room smells like... rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad, you know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Ugh, Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. 
Now I feel sad. Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. was too slow to save you. It won't fail, Harry. I'm keeping his room exactly as it is, ready for when he gets back. The key is with you, Em. I know you keep it safe. Wait, Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? Harry's mom planted this when he was born. Looks like Norman has made a point of caring for it now that she's gone. Beautiful. for Harry, can it? Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney, like his mom. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. <laughs> 